people follow concocted statements but there is no authentic hadith behind it which mentions the complete statement la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah these are two separate phases two separate phrases in fact this is not in sequence order so how can we follow it it is bidda so what is your view about this a similar question is asked by sultan khan a businessman from new york usa nowhere in the quran is it mentioned together la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah nor is this statement mentioned in any authentic hadith muslims commonly say it is the shahada of islam is it not incorrect to say it this question whether la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah it occurs in the quran together anywhere or anywhere in any authentic hadith is being doing round of the social media since the last few months maybe somebody has bought it up and it's become viral i personally was asked by some of my acquaintances is it correct and i got many such questions so i decided to answer it today yes i do agree that this statement together continuous la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah is nowhere in the quran but they do occur in two parts in many places in the quran for example the word muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam his name is mentioned in the quran as muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the quran four time and as ahmad one time and it does occur once as muhammad rasulullah it's mentioned in surah fatah chapter number 48 verse number 29 it says muhammad rasulullah that muhammad is the messenger of allah and all those who believe in him are strong against unbeliever and they're compassionate among each other a similar though not continuous statement but occurs in one verse itself is in chapter number 33 verse number 40 in surah azab chapter number 33 verse number 40 where allah says ma kana muhammadun aba ahdi min rijalikum wala khir rasulullah that muhammad is not the father of any of you men but he is the messenger of allah so in this one verse itself muhammad is there in the beginning ma kana muhammadun aba he is not the father of any of you men. and towards the end of the verse it says ما كان محمد ابا احد من رجالكم ولا كي رسول الله وخاتم النبيين ما كان الله بكل شيء عليما that muhammad is not the father of any of you men but he is a messenger of allah he is the seal of the prophet and allah is all knowing full of knowledge so muhammad rasulullah there in one verse though it's not continuous but the word muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is mentioned other places also it's mentioned in surah al imran chapter number 3 verse number 144 as وما محمد الا رسول بت محمد از اونلي ا مسنجر هيز نيم از اولسو منشن ان سوره محمد چاپٹر 44 سوره محمد چاپٹر 47 ورس نمبر 2 اند از اولسو کالڈ از احمد ان سوره صف چاپٹر نمبر 61 ورس نمبر 6 بت ات دز اكو ون ان دا قران ونس ان دا قران ان سوره فتا چاپٹر 48 ورس نمبر 29 از محمد رسول الله اند دا سٹارٹنگ پارٹ of the statement la ilaha illallah also occurs in the quran in surah safat chapter number 37 verse number 35 that la ilaha illallah that there is no god but allah and statement similar to it occurs in several places in the quran including surah al imran chapter number 3 verse number 3 verse number 13 it says that la ilaha illah there is no god but he and the derivative of la ilaha illallah is several times maybe approximately 30 times in the quran but i do agree that no way in the quran does it occur continuously join as la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah la ilaha illallah is there in the quran in surah safa chapter 37 verse number 35 and muhammad rasulullah is there in the quran in surah fatah 
chapter number 48 verse number 29 so just because it doesn't occur together continuous it doesn't mean you cannot say it and regarding the statement that this verse is not there anywhere in the hadith as this statement per se is not there but the shahada is mentioned in various forms in several hadith and it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari point number 7 hadith number 7381 where it's mentioned that the prophet says to give the shahada it is ashhadu la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammad rasulullah ashhadu la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abdu wa rasulu and this is the shahada which i normally ask a non muslim in reverse to islam and you will hear it in the public whenever i say and this is the most common and it occurs in sahih bukhari or number 7 hadith number 7381 where it says ashhadu la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu an ashhadu la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abdu wa rasuluh this is the complete shahada that i bear witness that there is no god but allah and i bear witness that muhammad is the servant and the messenger of allah and its other forms it occurs several times in the hadith it's mentioned say muslim or number four hadith number 4375 it says ashhadu wa inni rasulullah it says ashhadu wa inni muhammad rasulullah that i bear witness there is no god but allah and muhammad is the messenger and regarding the statement la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah is it there in the quran it is somewhat close to it in the hadith of sunan abu daud volume number three hadith number 2999 where it says that give shahada and say la ilaha illallah wa anna muhammad rasulullah that there is no god but allah and that muhammad is the messenger of allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so this statement I do agree verbatim La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah is nowhere in the Quran and the Hadith but in the Quran it occurs in two different places La ilaha illallah and Muhammad Rasulullah and in this Hadith and in this Hadith of Sunan Abu Dawud point number 3 Hadith number 2999 it says that say La ilaha illallah Wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah. So wa anna say there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. So and that is extra, and that doesn't change the meaning at all. So anyone who says that to say la ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah is the bidah and it's not there in Islam is just splitting heads. For example, if I write on the check two hundred and fifty dollars, or if I write two hundred fifty dollars, it means the same. Whether I add the and or not, the check would be honored. So if I say $250 or $250, it makes no difference in the meaning. So whether I say La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, or La ilaha illallah, wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah, I bear witness there is no God but Allah. And that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Same as I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. So these people who say that it's a bidda and it's not correct are just splitting heads and they are creating a fitna in the Muslim Ummah. Because if you ask me technically what is the shahada, yes, the one which I normally ask a non-Muslim in except Islam that is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari Ashhadu wa ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abdu wa rasul you know it's a complete one I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the servant and messenger of Allah it's a hadith and no one can doubt it but if you ask me that can la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah be considered as a shahada yes it can because in Arabic language in the Arabic speech, there are two types of speech. One is a khabar and the other is insha. Khabar means it's a news, it's an information or it's a fact. And insha means 
it is a commandment or it's a wish it's an exclamation or it's a declaration so but natural when someone is saying la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah it's not it's not information he's giving it means he's giving shahada so in the arabic grammar can you consider la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah the shahada yes you can but if you want to be exactly specific like what was said at the time of the prophet then ashhadu la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abdu wa rasulu is better but to say that la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah is not a shahada is totally wrong and if someone says it it is accepted and it has been coming down you may not find this in the hadith but it is there with wa inna and that so whether you add and or don't and add and in between it makes no difference the meaning is the same and i feel there's no problem at all these people who are objecting to such things are only splitting hair and they are creating a fitna in the ummah hope that answers the question